Hey guys, so we are having some serious technical difficulties tonight, but I don't care because we are going to get this started. So Leanne is trying to jump on on her phone, so we will see if that can work. And all of you guys that were on, I hope you jump back on because I want to have a good show with Leanne here. So real girl talk here and okay, let's let me see. Let's see. I see one, two... All right, we're gonna see if she jumps on here. I don't want it to go sideways again, but my mom's on here, so she'll tell me if I'm sideways, I'm sure. All right, I can't see. All right, mom's back. <laughs> my mom, she's so awesome. You know, my mom is my biggest fan. Is everybody's mom their biggest fan? So welcome to Real Girl Talk live Facebook live and I have a special treat for you tonight if I can get Leanne on here she's trying to jump on on her phone I think she's used to using her computer so hopefully we'll be able to get her on and if we can't you know what we can always come back and do real girl talk live with Leanne another time um, but anyway we'll try to get her on tonight for those of you that don't know who Leanne Locken is, besides the fact that she is a reality TV cast member of Real Housewives of Dallas, she's also an entrepreneur and author, she's a businesswoman, and I think she's got some things brewing and some projects that she may be able to share with us, and I hope that she can. So I'm gonna see, let's see, uh, if I can see if she's on here, I'm sorry for my finger in your face. I can't see. <laughs> you're on here. You have no clue what you're doing. All right. So let's see. Um, let me see if I can hit you. Uh, no. Dang it. Girlfriend. I don't know why I can't get you. I have to be able to see. I see that you're, I see your comments, but I don't actually see that you're on. So try to click where I'm talking and, or the, you know, the video, my face, <laughs> and then see if I can see you um, pop up. Or if there's a join button. I don't know if there's a join button or not. Are you on your phone, girl? And we'll see. We may have to start over, unfortunately. I'm trying, y'all. I'm sorry. All right, we're going to jump off and we're going to try it one more time. No join button on the phone. Oh, Sable came back from New York. Sable, we are having problems trying to get Leanne on here. Um, and it's so weird how I don't see... Oh, Leanne, you should be able to get a button right now that says, do you want to accept my invite? You should see it because it says it's adding you. It's adding you. It's adding you. It's adding you. Do you see something where it says that I'm adding you? Or that I'm asking you to come on because your face is blinking and it says adding. Make sure your phone is sideways. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you're well, there. Look like. Hi guys. You're here. She's here. Yay. Leanne, we, listen, we have got some. Make sure your phone can, you, can you hear good? Yes. I'm okay, you great. Good, good, good. good. Oh so, okay, but I'm, I'm turning off, muting my computer now because it's like three minutes behind us. Okay, that's cool. Well, I see that's you and we made it. You're on. Yay. Yay, yay, yay. Okay, awesome. So those of you that are so awesome that you came back on after all the technical difficulties, thank you. And <laughs> not my <today>. fault. <laughs> so I'm going to formally introduce Leanne here. Leanne, some people know you with the Real Housewives of Dallas, but what I want people to know about you is you're an entrepreneur, you're an author like myself. 
I think you've got some projects brewing, girl, that I don't know if you can share. But if you can share any, you can tell us what you can share. I don't want you to share anything that you'll get in trouble for, right? No, so, no, no. Oh, okay. I won't get in trouble. Okay. All right. Good. Yeah. Yeah. All right. No, I'm working. I, I think if you, if anybody watched last night's episode, I'm working on a, um, a dress that's called the infinity dress. And it basically, um, as I continue to add collections, it will last a lifetime. It, one dress right now with the basic collection, you can wear 175 different ways. So yes, Robin says, love Leanne my forward. Leanne. Huh? <laughs> and you know what, Leanne, I have to confess to you that I, I had to catch up last night because I've been traveling a lot, but look, girl, I caught up and I saw the dress. It's cute. It huh? is. It is cute. Congratulations. I. You know There's what? There's going to be a lot more. That to is it, so, so awesome. I mean, what a what an amazing idea to be able to take a dress and turn it about four different ways, right? Well, it just for me, I always thought about, you know, what ha what ha what do the women do that don't? I mean, because I have not always had the budget to just go out and buy sure. hundred dresses, and so. For me, I was like, okay, well, what if you could take one dress and like alter it and right. and it was an easy alter and then you could alter it with different colors and different fabrications and so that's really where the dress idea came from was it's a dress that you know when you find that one dress that fits you so good yeah and you're like man I wish that dress came in like 40 colors <laughs> that's what this is it's that one dress that fits you so well that you can change up that's awesome. That is awesome. Yeah. So for those of you that are joining us right now, I know we've got some lives coming on and we end up having the thousands in the replays. So we want to make sure that we get your questions. If you have any questions for myself or for Leanne, but I want to say real quick, because we were having technical difficulties for those of you that have not met me yet. I am Sherry Ricard. I am the host of Real Girl Talk tonight, and we're going to be having the Facebook Live for the next month or so, and then we're going to podcast radio. So I'm super excited about that. You're going to be able to get me on your podcast app as well as iTunes, which is going to be awesome. I'm also an author. I am a certified grief and empowerment coach as well as a speaker, so basically resource for women in self-development, and I love what Leanne shares. She's, she's very passionate about charities and we want to talk about that. She's very passionate about other women and empowering other women because, you know, Leanne, you've come a long way. So you were a TV host in LA and now you're on the road to reality TV and you're coming up with projects. It's never too late, is it? To do what no, you want to no. do. No. I mean, if you think about it, I'm 51 and I feel like every year I just keep finding something new that I want to do. Yeah. I just, I think the trick is to not say no. Right. And to just keep going. Cause I think, I think so many times people just quit, you know, you get to a point in life where you're like, I'm 50. I don't want to do it anymore. Right. But then, you know, you find something that you love and you're like, Oh wait, I want to do this. Exactly. So that's I'm, kind of, that's know. exactly where I am. I'm 52 years old and I'm going into podcast radio. Why am I doing See? that? I don't know because I, ha I have a but story to share. And you, but you love helping others. That's I your, oh, I think there's a, there's a thread that's common among everybody who right. constantly reinvent themselves. And it's that one, they don't want to give up. And two, that they're constantly, that helping others is like a baseline for them. You know, it's a baseline for me. I know it's a baseline for you. And I know you like to go out there. You're, you're very passionate about charitable organizations because when you go back to the first season, which my girl, Tiffany Hender was on. So, you know, Tiffany yes. and I are good friends. Um, yes. so you, you were talking about your charities and how did you get involved in that? So if someone's watching and they're saying, you know, I want to get involved in charities, things that I'm passionate about, but I don't really know what to do or how to get involved. What would you suggest they do? I just had this exact conversation with a people magazine interviewer. Um, <laughs> I would suggest that you get off your sofa and stop saying that you don't know how. Right. Find find a, um, a type of charity, find what is your heartstring. Um, I have four areas that are my heartstrings. I have LGBTQ, I have animals, I have child abuse, and I have domestic violence. So for me, those are four areas that I know when I call up someone and say, do you need a volunteer? I'm going to get 
be able to really make a difference there because I care. So find what is your heart strength. If it's animals, if it's, you know, you can even, animals even, you specify, like, go work for Greyhound Rescue or Beagle Rescue or Pomeranian Rescue. All of those types of groups actually exist. Um, and get off your sofa and volunteer. I mean, look, if you're yeah. on Facebook watching us now, just Google dogs in Dallas and see how many rescues pull up, you know? Right. And so it's, that, it's just about great. Just pick up the phone. How can I volunteer yeah. and just get involved in with whatever you're passionate about? And that's that's awesome. I love that. And I wanted to talk to to you because a lot of times we don't see about your book. And I know you're an author and you wrote no. a book, correct? I did. I did. I don't have one anywhere near, close to me, but yeah, I wrote a book. It's on Amazon. Um, and basically the, the book came about, I used to have a, I think I still have a Facebook page that was an inspirational page. Yeah. And I would post morning inspiration every day. And then everybody kept saying, I wish you would gather these in a book and put this collection in a book. And I was like, okay, then i tried to figure out how to do that so then I did it and then I published oh awesome so basically your book is just affirmations encouragement right it's, yes. it's 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 a daily inspirational book it's you know people say you know well you know I read an inspiration book I should be better no it's kind of like staying clean you know you got to do it daily well you know what I talked about this I, I, I did an event and I spoke to about 200 girls at LSU a couple of weeks ago. And that's one thing that I talked to them about is, you know, when your car is low on fuel, you pull up and you you gas up, right? So right? every day you have to feel your inspiration and empowerment tank. It's gonna get low. Mm -hmm. You know, just like people talk about, you know, your spiritual tank. When your spiritual tank is low, you have to fill it up. The same thing goes for empowerment and inspiration. So I love the affirmations. I love that. I try to put oh, yeah. empowerment I, I, on, and you know, and you kind of, Sometimes you get the, I don't want to be happy every day kind of comments or, you know, Sherry's always putting these empowerment and inspirational things on there. And, you know, people, they kind of want to pout sometimes, you know, so you have to let them. And, so and what do you okay. say about that's those that for, for don't your, want to be empowered? Then don't subscribe to the. I think, I think the thing about people who don't want to be emp empowered, inspired, encouraged, motivated, I think those are people that are denying themselves the truth of what they really want. I think there's a lot of people that live lives of quiet desperation. You know what? That's really true. That's really true. Because I think a lot of times we get stuck in whatever misery we have going on. And it's really hard though. You know, if you think about it, women have a lot of things going on. If you have kids, you have a husband, you have a full-time job. And then we were talking about the charities, you know, they are involved in their mm -hmm. kids' school. And sometimes they lose the track of themselves and what they want to do for themselves because they pour so much into their families and everyone else. Right. They get stuck in what's called the drama triangle. Yes. Tell us the drama triangle. The drama triangle is three positions that you can be in the drama triangle. And there's actually a fourth position called the observer. Um, and the observer actually has the most power. But a drama triangle is kind of like the Bermuda Triangle. Once you get into the middle of it, you get so caught up in it that you don't see a way out because now it's become this pattern where you go from victim to persecutor to mm. defender a protector so you so you let's say you start off by protecting someone and then someone attacks you and then you become the victim because you're being attacked and then they they have a moment of weakness and then you become the persecutor and attack back right and it's this triangle of drama that a lot of people can't get out of and right you, you really have to you you have to find a way to say is this something i want to be involved in and right. if it isn't, don't get involved. Stay in the observer position, which is outside the triangle. Yeah, and, and sometimes, you know, in the chapter in my book, Strong Women, I wrote about genuine friendships. And in that, I also put some little blurbs from Dr. Melanie Mills, who I love in Dallas. I love Dr. Melanie Mills. And I put some She's blurbs in there that she talks about 
friendships and the different aspects of friendships. And you can't expect the friend that is always there on the phone, you maybe can't depend on her to be the person that's gonna come and help you pack your boxes and move you when you relocate. Exactly. Every friend serves a different purpose and we can't expect one person to encompass everything. And I think a lot of times we feel like we can't count on someone just because they're not that friend for that particular situation. And that's just not true. And then we get caught and up I, in, I guess yeah. what you say, that triangle, that drama triangle, yeah. where we get mad at them. Yeah. And then we expect that friend to take a side of another friend. And then you're in this drama, which I yep. cannot stand. 100%. <laughs> that was season one for Tiffany and I. Oh, and yeah. <laughs> Tiffany was like, I'm out. Yeah. Gone. Gone. And I was like, I get it. I mean, you know, look, I, I, I never said, you know, to her, don't go, don't leave, stay here. You have to stay. I wanted her to stay, but what she needed to do to be a healthier Tiffany was to become an observer. Yes. And she's, man, she's rocking right now. She's, she's, yeah, she really is. She's got some good things. She going. just had a birthday. She did have a birthday. I had my little Snapchat little ears on to tell her happy birthday. <laughs> Cause I'm not in Dallas and I hate that. But next time I come, we have got to hook up. We keep saying that we're going to do that. And we never, I know Ooh. we're going in different directions and, and I, I get I that. I feel like a salmon going upstream. I know. I understand. But you know what? Bless. Blessed. Yes. You have a lot of stuff Blake. going on. You're completely blessed. And what I'm, you, I'm grateful. What other projects can you tell us about that you're working on, Leanne? Um, you know, actually, um, so this Saturday morning, uh, Stephanie Holman and I are hosting a um, mental health coffee talk um, right outside Nordstrom's at North Park. Um, I'm still very involved in charitable organizations, um, um, getting ready to go do New York Fashion Week. I mean, I'm just, you know, I feel like it, every day it's something new to work on. Right. And um, I'm focused on the dress because I want to have it ready. Uh, we're at the final end of production for it. So I want to have it ready for when we launch it on the show. Awesome. And I mean, just, you know, honestly, like, my wedding i'm planning a wedding and that's um, right you are planning a wedding oh that's i don't know how bright i see why people turn into bridezillas because well i mean like that maybe not like i'm not going to turn into that bridezilla i'm going to be the one that goes like someone else do this please <laughs> someone well, take the you Jesus, know what? take the wheel that's exactly what i did for my daughter only she just wanted me to she was never a bridezilla but what I did was yeah. she got really overwhelmed with things. And so I, and I'm a little bit of a control freak. I say a little bit, my husband's in the kitchen. He's probably going a little bit, whatever. But she, I would hand her literally three pair of shoes because if I showed her a whole wall of shoes, she'd freak out. And I would say, oh, oh wow, pick one of these. And the only thing that I didn't make any comments about is when she tried on her wedding dress, I let her try on tons of dresses. And do you know, she went right back to the very first dress that of she course. put on and that's the one that we got the one that made her cry oh <laughs> i love that yeah so it was I fun that. i basically planned my daughter's wedding but that was fun it kept her calm but how fun i mean you it got was. to be a part of it which is amazing it was it was a lot of fun so you you do you have a date set or can you say I, yeah, you'll have to stay tuned to okay. season three to find out. Okay. All right. We'll stay tuned so we can find out when Leanne's getting married. And I hope we'll be able to follow that and see that. That's, that's oh, awesome. You and I, I definitely want to share the journey with our, with our viewers. Oh, that will be awesome, Leanne. Well, I, I know we just wanted to keep a limited time. And I want to thank you so, so much. I'm glad we broke through the technical difficulties and having you on. But I'm so sorry, to everybody. Where can everyone find you, follow you, so we can keep up with what you what you have going on with the dress and uh, your Instagram, Facebook? What's the best way? All of Instagram, the Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, just Leanne Locken. I have a public page. Okay. Uh, Leanne Locken on Facebook. I have my Instagram account and I have my Twitter. And if you notice, I'm on every morning for a dedicated time period so if you come by in the morning and comment to me 
you will get a comment back. I like to engage with everybody who comes and talks to me. Oh, that's awesome. That's wonderful. I appreciate it, Anne. And thank you for coming on. And before everyone goes, I want to remind everyone that when you go to SherryRicard.com, you subscribe, you're going to get the free ebook boosting your confidence in five days. That's just a gift from me to you. I think everybody needs just a little bit of ideas on how to boost confidence, boost self-esteem. So that's something that I want to do for you. Leanne is going to come back when we go to podcast radio. And yes. then we're going to get our permission to talk a little deeper about Real Housewives of Dallas. And we'll be further along in the season. So we'll be able to, sure. we'll be able to go back and ask her some questions. And then she can talk more about that when we go to podcast radio in October, fingers crossed, that's how it goes. Thank you, Leanne. Love, it. love you, girl. And Thank we you. Are, love you we're too. gonna hook up when I come back to Dallas. It's one of my favorite places. I'm only there like what, six, seven times a year. So. Oh my gosh, done deal. Best of luck to you with the dress. Mwah. We're looking Thank forward. you. Bye girl. Thank you. For